Went shopping to get some new different food rations for the chickens. Um, I think they'll prefer this one here than the one I was giving them. I don't think they're enjoying it too much, so I'm going to go for this one. It's more complete and it's smaller. Okay, for all of them. Um, got some turf dirt to plant the um, the strawberries and a spare wheel, a tubeless spare wheel for the wheelbarrow because one of the wheels of the cement wheelbarrow is gone so um, I need a new one so this is very cheap actually 14 euros this was not expensive very cheap the food is also like this has 20 kilos and that was like 8 euros and the dirt's another 8 so actually found the shop is very good prices I was actually quite surprised so let's get to it guys hey everyone so first welcome to the daily life project channel yes let's go <laughs> okay so let's see we just got this order what is it Yes, I think I know what it is. It's the carpets for the Citroen Saxo. The trunk. The trunk carpets. Check it out. Tell me which Citroen Saxo has a rubber molded carpets in the trunk. See? That's actually a very nice carpet, eh? Look at all the textures it's got. Wow. Everyone. So, let's put the new carpet. I'm going to get different speakers. I'm also going to get a different um, trunk board. Okay, separator. I don't want the speakers on the trunk board anymore. And because these are becoming older, I'm going to put some new speakers. But I'm not going to attach them to the trunk board. So, um, I'm going to sell the trunk board with the speakers. Uh, actually been very easy to sell the parts of the extra spare parts for this car um, looks like a lot of people are looking for parts for the Citroen Saxo I mean most of the cars I have I can sell very easy the easy the spare parts um, so I'm going to put new speakers a new trunk separator uh, and I'm going to put some plug plug and play adapters like just quick adapters so that I can plug in and out the speakers if I want to very quick um, and I won't have the situation where I can't take this out if I want to put the loading in you know uh, sometimes I want to take a box to the post office and I can't because I have this test you know so let's get the new carpet in bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. here we go make sure it's all clean yes it is this was what I had in the trunk there. I don't keep a lot of garbage in the cars, eh? Just like yellow vest, a monkey ball. I always have this PVC like you guys see always in the previous videos. Now and then you just have to put it somewhere where it's wrestling, you know. <laughs> uh, the license plates covering for video content. Uh, and always a bag for shopping. Those are the stuff that I always keep in a car. Besides the tools that the car needs, you know. So, let's see this. Okay. Check it out, everyone. Yes. Look at that, eh? What a difference it makes in the car. So, we have this carpet, extra protection. The original one. And the soundproof foam. For the floor. Look at that. That's like... Wow, what a difference. Okay, let's keep on going, guys. <laughs> Hi! Okie dokie, so ready witted the column. So it doesn't crack with the heat. Oh, and I also welded new 
hinges to the well door okay now I'm gonna get a lock for there and uh, kid proof you know okay so that was another project I had in mind the strawberry project is booming so all the ones I plant the stems the stems are all picking up so if you compare the old video to this video you'll see that all these were planted through the stems you see all the small new strawberries so I'll put one two three new on the f on these um, little glass frosks uh, you see all picking up and I already got planted here the ones that I took the older ones that I took out of the glass bottles I planted here and other stems and another one there see <laughs> It's very easy to plant strawberries like this. This was the first one I planted in the glass bottle. Look how big it got. Then it was hard to take out of the bottle, so. Opa, okay. Now I gotta um, got clean. You, we, can you get a broom so that I can sweep the, the sidewalk, the pavement? So I really gave the new food to them. And uh, yes, Jim. They. They actually do prefer it a lot. They were really needing it. It's much smaller. Um, let me show you guys. Yeah, I'll just bring a broom so that I can clean. So I like to clean this every day, you know. Don't like to see it dirty. So yes, it's much, um, it's much smaller. Okay. And uh, this is a much better quality. It's the best quality they had. So I'm going for that one now. They all happy. Let's get a little bit more. Can't really scoop out a lot. Come here, little babies. Come here, little babies. So yes, here you go, little babies. So they, they get used to it. Beautiful color. Look at this. Amazing. I think I might have to get another couple. I'll see if he's got available another couple. Um, I'll give um, one male away and stay with another female. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah. I wanted to like breed them from the eggs of those two, um, but uh, with chickens, you know, you never know what's going to happen. So I probably better get another couple. Maybe not right now, but soon. That rooster is looking very nice. Get another couple just to have another female, you know, like that. He he's going to have this female. But if he had another one, I think it would even be better. And that's the population I want. I don't want too many chickens. This is a big coop. We got like one, two, three, four, five, six, about 10 meters by, let's see here, if they allow me to walk. One, two, three meters, 10 by three. So that is 30 square meters. Four. four chickens would be ideal and we're going to have a, a extra coop here just so that they can uh, get the picking there just to hatch the eggs so yes i think it will be quite cool <laughs> they always off to the shoes uh you want to sweep here quick you can sweep here quick just so that yeah we got some hamburgers in the barbecue done yeah, just sweep it away, just so that we can, uh, I like to just sweep it every day, you know. So today I got someone else to sweep it. <laughs> That's it. And then what we do is we scrape the ground, uh, pick it up in a mouth, and put it inside the compost. Very good for the compost. Because um, we also don't like leaving the poo here, so we just scrape it around. Um, 
I'm hoping the grass will grow. Uh, it was quite a dry August, so it dried away all the grass. But uh, I was going to actually plant seeds, you know, just throw the seeds. But I can't throw the seeds now because they would eat it. So now I'm just like, uh, today it rained. And I'm hoping, it was starting to grow. I'm hoping that they, that's why we also got the sidewalk so that we don't step, you know, on the, on the ground there. And I'm hoping it will grow. Um, because I'm not going to have too many chickens, just enough. And like that they all have sufficient space. Also going to let them go now and then so that they can just roam around. But the old chicken, uh, which is in the uh, small storage room outside, she is not getting along with them. So we can't have her with them. She doesn't want, um, she doesn't want any more, you know, social life. <laughs> so I got those little buckets outside there. I got some buckets. They're like... 15 20 liter buckets it's all quite big um i put hay inside of the tree and uh, whenever the chickens are roaming around and they want to lay eggs when they're roaming outside they can just lay the eggs there so when they're free she doesn't really go around and pick on them but if i put it in here no nah. so i tried it yesterday and it did not work so we can't go through that plan anymore so now i'm just going to come here scrape the ground pick up all the the poo and the the hay straws and put it in the compost because I need that all for compost and it keeps it all clean like that they aren't eating their own feces and everything you know got to do it you know got to do it the the proper way so yes let's go and eat and continue okay so ready cleaned up the whole poop Now this is all compost right here. Okay, so cleaned up. What we like to do. The curtains have been holding on great. It rained today. This was a good experience because we saw that everything is dry inside there and in there. So very good conditions for chickens, and they are happy. <laughs> Okay, so now I'll pick this up, put in the compost, and uh, continue to more projects. Okay, and we got uh, here's the old chicken. See, remember in the first videos? This is the only one we had. So yeah, she just cruises around here. She's got all this space just for her. So yeah, she's actually quite happy. She doesn't get along with the other ones, unfortunately. But uh, she's got all the space and whatever she wants. So. I think she's like what seven years? No, she's six year old. No, five six. us. Seven. Wow. <laughs> so once you become seven years old in chicken life, I guess you you just like to be lonely. <laughs> 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 so she's just chilling and. She just makes noises and uh, runs around the whole garden, so good life. <laughs> and here are the neighbor sheep, just cruising around as well. We allow them to come into our garden, so that's the back part, you know, it's closed up to the rest of the, the garden, so that they can just uh, roam around, eat some fresh green grass. Now we got all our compost. Maybe we'll need to step back a little bit because of the dust. And watch out all the... Yes. And look at that everyone. Compost. It actually doesn't smell bad, compost. It's like fruits and vegetables, you know. You'd always think like it's going to be stinky smell, but no. It doesn't really smell bad. Um, these boxes are also very nice because they got a lot of air vents, so maybe that's why, you know, it's not all closed in. But it's actually working quite good, eh? Hey, little ones, meh, are you all doing? They only communicate. Me. Communicate. Little boy. Little girl. Little girl. 
this one was born here while I was working on the wall. Like I told in the in the other videos before, um, I was working on the wall. Um, remember, if you guys see the previous video, see I was work, work, working on the wall there, and he got his mother gave birth to him, like right in front of me. <laughs> this little dude, he's very pretty. Look at him. He's got like a white spot on the head and on the next to the nose there. It's very nice. But all they want to do is eat, so you can only let them come close to you if you like give them stuff to eat, you know. So sometimes I give them like uh, leaves from the branches, like they like a lot of fruit tree branches, the leaves from the fruit trees. Like if you take a branch from a tree, like this, it's really gave them the fruit, so it's okay to take branches out. Then they just come. They like the apple tree leaves. She's more afraid. Nah. Okay, okay, come here. I was gonna give to her, you know, as well. But you don't want to share. No, no, he doesn't want to see. Maybe became jealous. You want? I think it's gonna be like um, Russian food. <laughs> Want some leaves? No. They're quite full. They've been eating a lot nowadays. Getting more the fresh grass, you know? So, yes, they're happy. Okay, let's continue. Okie dokie, so now I'm gonna take this bit's a wheelbarrow wheel that I put on this one because this is like a, the one that we just use for you know dirt and other stuff this is the cement one so whenever you have an old wheelbarrow don't throw it away what they do is they sell the wheelbarrows like for 40 bucks they sell the wheels for normally for like 22 um, so what happens is normally people just buy a new wheelbarrow but now that I get wheels for 14 bucks 14 uh, I'll just keep on keeping the old wheelbarrows you know because they're good for doing cement and everything it's very easy to transport cement uh, so this wheel is like gone see so the ones that don't have air have like a sponge hard sponge you see that's how they work that's why they tubeless they never get a flat <laughs> but um, if something like this happens then you got to change so uh, I've used it enough can't use this one anymore so now we're going to get that one on here and a new orange one on this wheelbarrow let's go okie dokie so got this wheel in place it is done that one okay ready to it up now we're going to put some wheels on this one right here so even for lubricants I always use like either silicone for everything um, PTFE which is Teflon spray and for heat resistance I use a copper spray so the two loop stuff or lithium lithium spray as well um, but the one I use the most is silicone or Teflon spray lithium is good if you want it to like last for a long time even outside lithium is good it gives like this paste you know um, texture to it okay so this is all good beautiful and now we got Two new wheelbarrows, <laughs> which aren't new, but they look new. Okay, let's put this one. Out. And here you go. So this one I'm gonna take with me inside. Okay, and this one will stay outside because it's. Uh, I'm just going to test it out, see how it's running, oh, yes, what a difference, yep. the other one was really, yeah, now it's much easier to take cement up and down, yep, much, much better, what a difference, okay, Yeah. Okay, I think 
I'll keep it the other way around so that it doesn't damage. Because there might be still some other things that I have to do. Can we just pop all around here for now. Okay, so it doesn't damage the wheel. There we go. I'm really anxious to clean this whole place up, you know, take all the stuff out. I uh, just have to finish that horizontal column down there on that wall that um, I did. And uh, good to go. Yes. Okay, so just taking the last wooden plank out. So it stayed quite smooth. Just had to patch up a little hole there and there. But yes, job done. This part's project is over. Um, and that's why these stuff are expensive to get done outside, you know, like if you don't do it yourself It will be expensive a lot of labor materials just for this column. It was one bill one wheelbarrow and a half of cement So you need then Okay, I just wait. I didn't even waste one bag of cement. So it wasn't too bad, you know So it cost me a bag cost like nowadays it cost like almost four euros 25 kilos and the sand you have to buy it like in a ton of sand and rock so that's like what it's another 50 bucks so the sand and the rock is how much it's like um 50 bucks no it's uh 20 how much is it 20 euros a ton mm -hmm. is it so it's like yeah i think it's like 40 bucks one ton of stone and sand you know to mix together and do the columns so yeah so it ends up like being um 44 44 bucks plus the steel it's like what another five euros so let's say 50 bucks and you do this part here you see so if you get it done of course uh, it will be it's not going to be 50 bucks <laughs> so you do save a lot by doing it yourself but that's why it is expensive you know it's a lot of labor prices went like double or triple you know in some places so here where we live prices went double I used to buy a bag of cement two euros fifty and now I'm paying like almost four euros so that's almost double it was even more expensive now it went down a little bit um, the sand and the stones that didn't go up a lot but still went double for example you see so yes oh Okay, that wasn't easy so whenever planks are like buried inside like uh, cement outside and inside it is not easy um, now that little channel that's there from the planks that I'll just fill up with cement the next time I do cement down there it doesn't go right to the end so this is connected to that cement connected to that connected to the side to the wall everything uh, normally like if you want to like finish up like corners <coughs> like this now is the right time because the cement is still like scrapable okay so what i do is i get a piece of steel and i just scrape the, the edges i'll show you now so just scrape here the, the edges that there's like no sharp edges then you can just patch up the next time i do cement i can do patch ups you know very easy so you don't want to scrape it too much or else then the stones start to come above you see these little stuff that will going to eventually jump out I bet they're out already and this from the plank and I can just patch up as well although it's not very important because it's for outside so So if no one gets hurt because they hit themselves by mistake. So, and this will stay like this, this will reinforce it actually here. Okay. Yep, this will come out, that will come out, that will come out, this will come out. The rest is all 
Just shaking it up. Make sure it's not all breakable. Yeah, okay, good. And that's how you do it, guys. Okay, now we let it dry out, but I always wet it. Um, like, tonight I'll wet it, okay? And tomorrow I'll wet it. And even when it stays like dry, the color of this, I'll still wet it again. So that there's no cracks. Normally I do that a lot, and I don't have problems with issues on cracks. Uh, and you see all the fiber that I always mix with the cement, all the fiber is here. The fiber makes a big difference. I mean, even to patch up holes on the floor. If you mix the fiber, okay, with the cement, I've gone with a forklift on top of it and everything. It's the, the strength of the structure of the cement is like, increases crazy. <sighs> oh, had a ant here. <laughs> okay, now, next project. So now we're going to go to the Citroen section. Okay, got to do some uh, upgrading on that hole again. And let's go. So here we're doing these accessories for the doors. Okay, so we had to cut a hole okay, in the middle. Now we're going to cut on the outer side. And this will give us this um, framing so that we can support the textile of the door bits okay so yes all by hand okay let's go <laughs> and here's the result see so now i'm just going to polish this um sand it up get it all smooth and paint it and this will be our frame So this is um, a disc to polish, it's very soft, okay, you just polish aluminium. So you see that's when I sand it down with the sand grade, okay, with that machine there, DeWalt. And this one here just stays much more shiny, you see. You can just fill up, you can't even feel this, you can see the, the line but you can't feel it. But uh, I'll just grind it down a bit more and you see the difference it's like a mirror look you know with the paint it stays very soft and smooth okay so what am i doing here today uh, i put some glue here already at the bottom the top part it doesn't glue because it's really like shrinks a little bit the textile but um to secure the textile from not popping out anymore okay uh, I made the frame like I showed you previously and yes so the frame is um, going to attach the textile and this attaches to the frame like that we know the textile for now because I don't I can't get anyone to do the upholstery yet uh, for now it's going to stay with the original textile um, but at least it won't come out anymore so we can drive the car and no problem at all it's a lot of work but I am going to end up using this frame even when I get a upholstery, the new upholstery on it. Um, the frame will always come in handy so that it can secure the textile. So that's the plan for now. Didn't stay bad actually. Got to clean this with the um, plastic spray. Dirty it up a bit with the hands. And uh, I have to get new springs, plastic springs for the for the door covers because on that side it's popping out. And it all has to do with these plastic um, springs. I have to buy them, hook them on, and just attach the door panel better. It's very hard to get door panels for this car. I only get the one that doesn't have this type of uh, handle. It's got the smaller handle, so it won't fit on this car. If I get it one day, I'll buy it, but for now, I can't get it, so I'm gonna make a plan. <laughs> Down here. There's a, like a scoop from down here. It goes all the way around to here. So this is all steel tube. Okay, normally this comes loose, so make sure that this is tightened up. And this hose was also coming oil out of it, so I had to take a new hose right here and tighten this up right here, okay? Um, this, it wasn't oil. This was um, water that was coming out, okay? 
forgive me, I said oil, but here it was water, here as well. But then the oil was, because this was loose, this tube, oil and this wasn't really tightened up. Oil was coming out from here and from here, mixing with the water, which, which would like dilute it while it was hot, running the car, you know, driving. And then when I used to come home, there was always a drop or two or three, but they're getting bigger and bigger. So make sure all this is sealed, this, this, make sure this is tightened, and make sure this tube is good and this is tightened, okay? And uh, yes, that was an issue. So now we're going to change this thermostats, um, where the thermostats goes, housing, plastic housing, for uh, aluminium one, which I'll show you now this video no. um, so I got the gaskets okay this o-ring gasket seals um, on the other video I told you guys I was going to get them made so I did that um, to have extra so if I need can just shout out um, and yeah we got the aluminium one okay from Spooks um, and I also got these o-rings okay extra so the ones I got are no heat resistant o-rings but these ones I'm hoping it is I don't know what they're made of um, I have no information so um, I'm sure they weren't going to use cheaper rings but um, just in case I'm going to use the ones that I got because I know they are heat resistant okay so that's what I'm going to do right now. Just take the original one out. Get these ones out of here. Okie dokie. Okay. Okay. So the, thin one. So, the fact is, these this is original for the oil this is not for there's nothing to do with this these are rings are for the oil filter housing that tightens against the okay against the engine um, oil deposit housing block there see so this is like a bit of a a square you know shape uh, it's not zooming there you go see so I, I could get these made, but actually the guys where I went to do this, uh, asked them to do this, um, they say that people come with these cars, Peugeot's and everything. And um, because these are a bit universal, so whatever system was going there originally also goes in other cars, they use these ones, okay? So these are round, but they have the same thickness as these, okay? And it will just fit on straight on there, okay? This one is quite soft, and this one is harder. Now this is for heat resistance, you can see even the colors difference. So this one goes uh, 200 and something degrees, okay, almost 300 degrees. Um, the O-rings I got for this also goes 230 degrees. So at least I'm safeguarded on that, so... Whoever needs our rings, I got them, okay? Let's give a shout out and uh, got your back. <laughs> now, here are the ones I got here. Now, do I see any difference? A little bit, a little bit. I do see a little bit difference. Um, so I'm just gonna go for these ones that I got. Because I I work with these guys, they very they have a good reputation, okay, in manufacturing O rings. This one has a better fit, yes. Um, okay. So now I just have to get this out. Uh, water is always going to pour out here. Yeah? Unfortunately, there's nothing a person can do. So the screws, I can use the ones that came with spooks. Um, let me see the difference of height here. Uh, it's very, it's the same. So I could still use these original screws. Um, probably I will. 
Or I could use a stainless steel, but because this is aluminium, uh, I could. Let me just see the length of the screws. Yes, they are exactly the same. So they were quite careful doing all this, yes. Okay, okay. Now I also want to get this loosened up. Right here. Okay. So I'm going to lose a bit of coolant water. That's not a problem. Then just top it off. enough just a little bit more okie dokie okie dokie so I think it's just easier to get this out while it's still attached here okay let's see how much water is going to come out it's going to be a little bit so Uh, actually no, it's cool because I still had an open up, you know, didn't heat up enough Okay, so that's cool Didn't have to do to this whole thing now. I just wanted to get this up here. So I'll just hold that for a bit Because last time I did this um, Still a lot of water poured out because it had opened up the thermostat so I had asked someone to take the car out to the front here and they were dancing in the car listening to music and uh, I've already been myself <laughs> so yes it's always good to have help <laughs> okay dokie here we go this is the last one and we are done now the reason why I'm changing this, not because I had to, but I uh, need to make sure the thermostat is clean. Yes, because I have already a new thermostat in there. So, yeah, it's all good. It's all cleaned up. Okay. That's cool. I don't want it. Okay. So, this is all plastic, guys. Okay. And look, I had boots here an o a round O-ring. It wasn't heat resistant. And now look what happened to this o-ring. Now look at this, guys. Non-heat resistance o-ring. Round. Look what happens. Flat. Flat check. Looks like a pancake. Look at that. See? Now, I'm doing a trip. And this isn't going to seal the water and it starts spilling out. And how am I going to fix this on the highway? You know what I mean? And this would this was worrying me, you see. Um, now this is plastic. I also don't trust this, although it says it's PA sixty six, so it's like um, nylon with fiber reinforcements inside. But um, that's why it takes takes a long time to damage um, this type of plastic. It's got fiberglass inside of it. But um, I just trust more the aluminium one. I know a hose can burst anything can happen but hoses are flexible and if you don't have the proper rings that's going to be this was going to be a disaster so this was a time bomb okay this was about to explode um and i was going to have travel on a trip and this here plastic i'm just afraid it dilates over here um and then water starts coming out so now we've got to upgrade on this. Uh, okay, the flat part is upwards. And now we know we have a heat resistance O-ring. Okay. So now we just pop this into place. Yes. Tight fits. Make sure it's all cleaned around. Before I put it in. Okay, just make sure it's no sand. You don't want sand, you don't want nothing. Okie dokie, we are ready. Okay. Yes. Sounded much better. Now, I can put the new screws. I'm going to go with the new screws. 
with the stainless steel new screws. Okay. Two. Now, I'm not saying that the O-ring that came with Spook isn't correct. I trust them. Th this one is PSA. This came in a PSA. Original part. This is original part, okay? Um, and they do squish a lot of the time. So if I had, if I was going to put something like this, I mean, I would probably prefer going with this one, okay? Now, I'm not saying that Spooko rings aren't good, these ones. I'm sure they're also heat resistant. I'm just saying that I, I know this factory of O-rings and I trust them. So, whoever wants the O-ring for the thermostat housing, I don't know if it gives for the original one. Let's test it out. And actually it does. So whoever's looking for an O-ring, okay, for the housing, here, there's one right here. Okay, I also got your back guys. I got more, okay. So we're just gonna put that right there and I'll put it inside the plastic bag just now. So we got our new housing in. Uh, really put this in place. Perfecto. And the spook O-ring that came in a plastic bag with all the other ones in here. Okie doke. So now we're just gonna put the egg filter box back into place. Okay, just tighten everything up. Just a little bit, there you go. Okie dokie. Okay. Don't have to tighten up this too much, you know, it's just sufficient. Don't need to go crazy. It's all rubber stuff, so. Let's tuck it in nice. Like there. Okie dokie. And now, we got it. Push this into place. <laughs> Can't do a job. They're always trying to mess with the videos, you know. That's how they enjoy themselves. <laughs> Let's go make fun this life harder. <laughs> it's all fun. Okay, so. Trying to put this more forward. Okie dokie. And this is the last one. And we're good. To go. Okay, all sealed up. Clips went into place. All sturdy, all nice. Okay, everyone. So I hope you all enjoy that. Oh. Right, stop. Okay, so just on the car, making sure there's no um, leaks. So we're gonna have to wait for the thermostat to open. I'm just gonna check out the water. We're gonna let the air come out. Actually, this car is cool because you got these bleeders. You got a bleeder there. But normally, I even bleed at the higher points here. And there's also a bleeder on the thermostat housing right there. So on this car, normally you bleed one. Two, and then three. Okay, you get the three, all the system let out of it, and that's it. So I'm probably going to lead it out of it there. I'm just going to see how it behaves, but I have to let the water flow through here, which still isn't going. Has to warm up a bit, okay? Okay, so if your mirrors aren't working on the Citroen Saxo, um, take the module out. It's very easy, you take the screw, I have to buy a new uh, plastic handle because this one's disgusting, okay, it really came with the car. This frame that I did is very good, all the textile now is in place. Now the fact is, take that screw out, I didn't want to show you guys because I have to get a new one. New handle and put a new screw, okay, I'll do everything in one. Because um, I have to take the screw out, go to a, a hard store, take the screw out, ask for a stainless steel one. Or a black one. That's steel. So you take this module out, take two plugs that are underneath this. They come out sideways. One white, one black one. To the sides, okay? And then underneath you'll see four little tiny clips on the side. Um, and it drops out this whole module. 
inside this module another plastic will come out okay underneath and it's full of dirt crust dirt everything clean it up um, and your mirrors will work my mirrors weren't working now check it out Left. Yes, let's go. Fantastic. And the right one also works. So that was a cool fix. I thought this was broken, the module. Something in the mirrors. So now we got electric mirrors. Hey? Eh? Well upgrades, eh? <laughs> let's go. For today that's it. Okay, now we got more content. It's gonna start filming tomorrow. Um got another surprise for you guys. Okay, another two surprises for you guys. Two or three. Say three surprises. <laughs> and remember, whoever needs um, seals or gaskets for your thermostat housing, just send me a message. And um, yes, stay tuned. Subscribe, please. And we are growing. We are like last time I saw 65 subscribers. Wow. Okay, so let's keep on going, everyone. Thank you all for your support. Thank you so much. Okay, God bless you all, and see you on the next one. Out. <laughs> Hold <it. coughs>